bits and circuits. Okay, first we know we should know define what does pure resistance mean. So a pure resistor or a pure resistance is a resistor with no self-induction. Yani it's going to be a straight wire, not a coil, because every coil has an inductance. L cannot be zero for a coil. So when we talk about the pure resistor, think you are going to imagine a straight long wire, okay, not a coil. So uh, it's a resistor in an AC circuit. This is the symbol of a resistor attached, connected to an AC generator. And we attach to a voltmeter across this resistor to measure the potential difference on the resistor, which is VR. And of course, we need an ammeter to measure the electric current all through this resistor, which is IR. And we know that resistance depends on two, three things. And I explained it many times. Again, I'm explaining which is the length of the conductor, which is cross-section area of the thickness of the conductor, and which is the type of the conductor. So these three things determines the resistance of a conductor, which is how many ohms, 10 ohms, 20 ohms, 30 ohms, 100 ohms. So those three things determine that. And one more thing can change the resistance. Only one more thing can change this 10 ohm, which is temperature. If you hit a resistor, we will learn chapter nine about this more in details. If you hit a resistor, its resistance can increase from 10 to 10 to 10.5, from 100 to 101. So temp increasing temperature can cause its resistance to increase or decreasing temperature can cause resistance to decrease. Nothing else can affect the resistance of a resistor. Why I explain this? Because in alternating current, we know that potential difference is continuously changing. Potential difference of the battery of the generator is continuously changing, which means potential difference on the resistor is also continuously changing. What about electric current? According to Ohm's law, which is R is equal to V divided by I. According to Ohm's law, electric current potential difference proportionally changes in a resistor. Yani R is constant. As V increases, I must increase. As V decreases, I must decrease. As V is zero, I must be zero. Yani the, the reading of the voltmeter ammeter, which measures the potential difference VR, or ammeter measures electric current IR, their readings must increase together, decrease together, must becomes together at the same time. This fact, yani change of the voltmeter, readings of the voltmeter and ammeter changes together is explained as being in phase. And electric current and potential difference on a resistor are in phase. They are changing together, zero together, increasing together, maximum together, decreasing together, zero together. So this is the red one is the Potential difference graph, the blue is the electric current graph. They are in phase, they are changing together. And their equations are also the same. Electric current equation, IR, VIM sine omega t, VR is VM sine omega t. Their equations are the same. So in a pure resistor, electric current IR and potential difference VR in phase, that is they have equal phases. Look at their phases. Omega T for potential difference, omega T for electric current. And being in phase is also represented by two vectors, which are in the same direction. And also you can see here, red is up, blue is up. Red is down, blue is down. So it's same, same direction. IR and VR, they are two vectors, which are in the same direction. This is called phasor. Phasor representation of the different R and they are always in the same direction in a pure resistor. And as I explained to you, resistance cannot be changed. Only temperature resistance resistor. Why did I say you? Because in coming parts, we learned that, for example, uh, for coil for capacitor, frequency of the generator changes. They can change. But if you change frequency of the generator, I mean, it's the same capacitor goes lower. Resistance of the resistor is not. Resistance is measured. Same potency. Changing frequency of AC does not change. Resistance of resistance is one you see about in potential about that resistance. And also about the uh, slide. Teacher, sorry, I was not here. Are we going to start from the beginning? Uh, no, just I start from resistance uh, because it's maybe better to remember. Okay. But we, uh, with your class, we, uh, we advanced, I think, the uh, parallel combination.
Yes, teacher. That's why I thought because we don't. I thought we all read those. We don't. No, have some them. some classes are some late, some are forward. Then I will continue with the others. Now, uh, next one is pure inductance. We are going to connect an inductor of to a, a generator. What is pure inductor? First, we should get it. Pure inductor is a coil with self induction. It's a coil but we are going to neglect its resistance. In reality, this is not possible. Only superconductors can do that, they, their resistance is zero. But we are going to treat this coil, this coil initially, uh, or right now, as a pure uh, inductor, which has no resistance. This potential, the voltmeter measures potential difference across the coil, electric, uh, ammeter measures electric current across the coil, and what we know about the coils. First, I am going to remind you something from chapter six, section one, self-induction. Self-induction was, remember, like this, if you change electric current on a coil. So coil reacts this changing co uh, current by producing an current in the opposite direction. So this self-induction of the coil, because of the self in this current in the coil, there is a time delay for the current supplied to the coil compared to the potential difference. When potential difference becomes, uh, when the generator provides a maximum potential difference to the coil, potential difference across the coil becomes maximum. But when this generator provides a increasing current to this coil, this coil reacts this electric current so that's why electric current cannot be maximum when potential difference is maximum. For that is a reading of the voltmeter and ammeter oppositely changing in a coil. As voltmeter reads maximum, ammeter reads zero. As voltmeter reads zero, ammeter reads maximum. As reading of voltmeter increases, ammeter reading decreases. Or voltmeter reading decreases, ammeter reading increases. Oppositely changing in a coil. This reason, this reason is not explained in your book because uh, I don't know, this is maybe hard for a student to get it. You don't need to know that. But reason of this time delay between the potential difference and electric current is the self-induction of the coil. And this fact, this difference in voltmeter and ammeter reading is defined or explained or expressed by being out of phase. Then the graph is going to be like this for a coil. Potential difference is maximum, electric current is zero. Electric current is maximum, potential difference is zero. When potential electric current is zero, potential is negative value of the maximum. And so on, as you see, they are not changing together. Whereas one of them is increasing, the other one is decreasing. And that's why their equations are also different. In a pure inductor, electric current, because electric current is late, late Potential difference is leading. So electric current IL and potential difference VL are out of phase by the phase angle of pi over two. Look at the angle between them. This full cycle, half cycle is 180. This is quarter cycle, which is 180 divided by two, which is 90. So that's why phase angle difference is 90, which is equal to pi over two in radian. And we say that the potential difference across the inductor VL leads the current, electric current, by a phase angle of pi over two. And this fact, sorry, uh, any questions about this slide? Everybody unmuted? No. No questions, I will continue. So then this leading, leading by pi over two is also represented by two vectors but these vectors are not in the same direction. So if electric current, yes, general electric current is taken in horizontal, so potential difference is leading the electric current by a pi over two phase angle, positive pi over two. And for that is an equation of the potential difference is not the same as the electric current. You should add this pi over two right here. So VL, instantaneous value of the potential difference, VM sine omega t plus this phase angle, which is pi over positive pi over two. This is the phaser for a pure coil uh, of potential difference in electric current. But here, 
again, we calculate, we use Ohm's law because there is a, if there is a potential difference measured, if there's an electric current measured, you can use Ohm's law because Ohm's law is about uh, the ratio of potential difference to electric current. So this V effective over V instantaneous or Vm over Im defines a property of the coil. In resistor, this ratio was defining the resistance. What was the resistance? It is the opposition of a conductor to electric current. But here, it measures something else. It measures something about coil, which is known as inductive impedance, XL. What is inductive in the impedance, which is VE over IE, VM over IM? So it is the opposition of inductor to the flow of electric current. So their natures are different, but their functions are the same. Inductive impedance, if great inductive impedance is greater, electric current is hard to move, difficult to move, difficult to flow. If resistance is, I mean, greater, electric current cannot move easily in a conductor. Their results or causes are the same, results are the same, but their natures are different. What is the nature of the resistance? Collision of electrons with the atoms. What is nature of inductive impedance? It is the self-induction of the coil. So their causes are, uh, natures are different, but both of them makes electric current flow difficult. It's an opposition to electric current XL. So we can use Ohm's law to get XL, but according to the structure or nature, XL is depends on two things. One of them is coefficient of self-induction of the coil, which is L. Another one is of frequency of the AC generator. It is very logical, in fact. I said to you that XL is about the self-induction. And self-induction is greater if electric current changes very quickly. What does electric current change very quickly means? So frequency is big. Greater frequency means electric current is changing very fast. That's why induct, uh, inductive impedance increases. Second one is, of course, coefficient of self-induction. That's why equation for XL include F and L directly proportional to, uh, or XL is directly proportional to F and L. Uh, sometimes two pi F is written as omega. So you can, uh, if omega is given you, you are going to use omega L to calculate the XL. If omega is not given, you are going to use two pi F L to calculate. XL. XL is also has the same unit of the resistance because volt per ampere always equal to ohm. Volt per ampere is equal to ohm. Okay, any questions about this part? Everybody can hear me? I meet Amud again, you, all you. Dia, uh, Yara, can you hear me? Yes, yes, teacher. I don't Everybody can hear me right now, no questions, I think. Okay, let's continue. There are some questions, so those questions are made in the, no capacitance in the circuit, capacitance. Capacitor is, a device which is used to store electrical energy or electrical charge. Empty capacitor and fully charged capacitor have two different properties. When capacitor is empty, remember in the classroom, I explained to you empty classroom, so many empty space, so then easily student can run and then take seat. For that as an empty capacitor draws maximum current, but when it is empty, because there is no polarization between the plates, potential difference is zero. However, when capacitor is completely charged, fully charged, so then there is no space for other electrons to move. That's why the current becomes zero. However, one plate is perfectly positively charged, other plate is perfectly negatively charged, potential difference becomes maximum. For that reason, reading of ammeter and voltmeter also inversely changing as voltmeter reads zero, ammeter reads maximum, or maximum zero, or increasing, decreasing, decreasing, increasing. So this is also out of phase but in opposite manner of the inductor. In inductor, electric current was late,
but now electric current is forward, leading. So that is the difference between the capacitor and inductor. Both are out of phase. However, in capacitor, electric current is leading. Potential difference is lags behind. Then this graph is the uh, equation, uh, the graph of the uh, how electric current potential of different changes across the ca capacitor. And in a capacitor, the potential difference across the capacitor, we see legs behind the electric current by a phase angle of, again, pi over two. Phase angles again, pi over two. And this uh, legging behind is represented by a phaser, which is in the opposite direction of the inductor. So it was positive pi over two, but now it's negative pi over two. That's why we see. You should add here into the equation as negative pi over two for uh, capacitor. And again, we have potential difference. We have electric current. Again, if you divide VE divided and IE, you get a property of capacitor, which is known as capacitive impedance. And this capacitive impedance has the same unit as the resistor and inductive impedance, which is ohm. And it is the opposition of the capacitor to the flow of electric current. But its nature is different. Nature of capacitive impedance is completely different than inductive impedance, completely different than resistance. Uh, okay, so this uh, capacitive impedance XC depends on, again, capacitance of the capacitor. Maybe you remember what this capacitance mean. It is the how uh, uh, much uh, charge can be stored in a capacitor. So it's about called capacitance. If more charge stores, capacitance is big. If less charge is stored, its capacitance is small. And also frequency of the generator. An equation is one over omega C. It is inverse of um, inductive impedance because inductive impedance was omega L, but XC is one over omega C. Instead of L, you are going to write C or one over two pi F C for the capacitor. This is all about the capacitor. Any questions about capacitor?